So, welcome and good day, ma'am. This is my presentation of the Filipino who invented the karaoke machine. And I'm Aileen Palabay, your presenter for this day. Let's proceed. So, the man behind the famous karaoke machine are named Roberto del Rosario. So, we will be discussing further on how he came up with such good idea or such brilliant invention. So, the idea of karaoke machine are came from a Japanese musician named Daisuke Inoue. He was the one who came up with the concept of karaoke that he called Karapo Orchestra, that means empty orchestra. He worked in a bar in Kobe, Japan as a musician and has the ability of playing different instruments to catch the audience's attention. Many clients invite him to perform on their events. Then one customer approached him and invited him to perform. But due to his busy schedule, he was unable to come. So he devised a plan to simply record a backup music and hand it over to the client. So he came up with the idea to create a machine that has already a backup music that is safe. Then he formed a team that included electronics experts, woodworkers, and furniture finishers. And finally, in the years 1971 to 72, they developed an 8-track tape karaoke system known as the Echo. But the only mistakes of Daisuke is that he didn't patent his invention. So as a result, it provides as a means for a Filipino to improve a Japanese invention or improvise a Japanese invention. So the man who takes the opportunity and improvise the Japanese invention is Roberto del Rosario. So I will introduce him to you. So Roberto del Rosario is a Filipino inventor of karaoke machine. He was born in Pasay City on June 7, 1990. He founded Travel Music Corporation, a piano company in the Philippines, as an entrepreneur. Roberto never received formal music education but learned to play the piano, drums, marimba, and xylophone by ear. And his other inventions, beside his famous karaoke machine or karaoke sing-along system, Roberto del Rosario has also invented the Travel Voice Color Code or VCC, Piano Tuner's Guide, Piano Keyboard Stressing Device, and Voice Color Tape. In his patents, UM5269 on June 2, 1983 and UM6237 on November 14, 1986, Roberto del Rosario described his sing-along system as a convenient multi-purpose compact machine that incorporates an amplifier, speaker, one or two tape mechanisms, an optional tuner or radio, and a microphone mixer which features to enhance one's voice such as the echo or reverb to stimulate an opera hall or studio sound. The entire system was housed in a single cabinet. And in fact, he is a musician during World War II. The Patent of His Inventions So what is the importance of patent? A patent protects your invention and it has a power to protect any product design or method that meets certain criteria for originality, practicability, appropriateness, and utility. A patent can usually protect an invention for up to 20 years. So, Del Rosario held the patent for the sing-along system, a form of karaoke system he invented in 1975. He sued a Chinese corporation in the Supreme Court for patent infringement. The court concluded in 1996 that the Chinese corporation had infringed on his intellectual rights. He was the only person in the world with a patent for karaoke system. Most historians, however, identify Japanese Daisuke Inoue as the originator of karaoke. Inoue was the first to invent karaoke in 1971 and year 2003 when Del Rosario died. Del Rosario's karaoke are still loved up to this day and famous around the world. So the karaoke machine really enjoyed by the Filipinos and also many other countries. Everyone can sing and show up their voices and it's used for fun, celebrations, fiesta, and gatherings. 
it is also a way of creating bond with our family and friends by singing together and just enjoy. So thank you for listening.